Hey guys, this is Graham with Tutorial Clarity, and today we're going to be making a sublime pulsating wave effect. And here it is. Yep, so we're only going to be using one third party plugin for this effect, actually. And uh, that third party plugin is called Trap Code Shine. If you haven't noticed, I actually love the Trap Code uh, plugins, now owned by Red Giant Software, I believe. But uh, great plugins, always good to have. Let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you have a new project, File, New, Project. And then go to Composition, New Composition, and I'm going to call this Composition Main. Just go ahead and copy my settings. I have the duration set to 10 seconds, and let's get started. First things first is we're going to create some layers. Uh, fortunately, we only really have about four layers, uh, one of which is a sound layer, so it's pretty straightforward. You can probably tell there's not going to be much. It's just, you know, modulating settings and effects. So first layer is going to be our wave layer. Uh, layer, new, and then solid. And we're going to call this layer wave. I have my background color set to black. Make comp size, hit OK. And the next layer we're going to be creating is our text layer. So I'm going to go to layer, new, and text. And I'm going to type in something cool. Then I'm going to use my tile action save here. Make sure it's roughly about the center, and you know, we're pretty good to go. Good on that. I'll turn off my tile action safe. The next layer that we're going to be creating is called the sound hits layer, and uh, this actually brings me to one more thing. I'm going to go to layer, new. We're going to create the layer solid, and I'm going to call this sound hits. Now there really is one other external plugin which I apologize I did not mention, but it is still part of Trap Code and it's called Trap Code Sound. Very useful plugin um, for tying in your animations to, you know, levels of different sounds, uh, on-off switches, the the amplitude of the audio. It, there's many options. We're just going to be using the basic options. But uh, we'll get around to that later. So not only do you need Trap Code Shine, you'll also need Trap Code Sound. But uh, yep, that's that third layer. And as I said, our fourth layer is going to be our audio file. So I right click in the project over here and import file. You can go to my desktop, import Glossoli. <coughs> this is a uh, really one of my favorite songs by Sigaros. Very sublime song, very nice. And we're just going to drag that down here. With Sully. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find out where the song starts by hitting L, L, twice on my keyboard. And that pulls down the waveform. And you can see that the wave really starts about here, which is kind of funny. So what I'm going to have to do is just drag the actual file layer here back to the first frame where it actually starts. And it's important that you do this for your songs at the beginning um, because once you generate the sound hits, it'll be in coordinates with wherever your actual sound layer is located where it begins which by default is the beginning you know at this beginning of the uh, timeline so that basically takes care of our layers alright so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're actually gonna apply our effects let's get started on that I'm gonna hit this uh, something cool layer just left click it to select it and we're gonna apply effect stylize glow and we're going to apply one more effect. Go to effect, down here at the bottom, trap code, and shine. Now we're going to have to change some settings on here. No big deal. We're going to set the ray length to about 10. We want it to be uh, pretty, pretty long there. And we're going to boost the light itself by 2. And so we can see the text, we're going to set the transfer mode to add, like such. Now we're going to change the color, and to get that sublime feel, I really like the desaturated blue, greens. Um, yeah, uh, you can pretty much tell what I'm talking about when I do this here. It's better to action speak louder than words. I'm going to set the shadows to, let's set that to white, like such. And I'm going to set the mid-tones to, let's come in here halfway between the light blue and green desaturate it heavily 
So it looks like a desaturated blue-green light. And that seems about good. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply a mask to this layer. So if you go up here and select by holding left click on your mask tools, uh, you'll get a drop down menu and we're going to select the ellipse tool. It's a, silk, it's a circular max, mask tool, excuse me. And with our something cool or text layer selected, we're just going to go around it like this. Make sure that your circle covers the majority of this, uh, your text layer. You want it to be just close enough. And it automatically pulled it down for us here. You'll see if I switch this back out. There it is, masks, mask one. And let's see here. I'm going to drag my feather up to something like 140. You just learned this from experience, but I know 140 is a good feather for me. But don't worry, it's not visible. We have to change the mask, mask expansion. So I'm going to lower the mask expansion negative to a negative value so it comes inside here. And I'm going to set that to about, let's see here, bring it in just a bit. We don't want to take out all the light rays. Let's try negative 45 even, or odd, technically. My bad. <laughs> anyway, that's pretty much it for that layer, believe it or not. Um, let's go ahead and get started on the wave effect itself. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select my wave layer, make sure you have that selected, and the first effect we're going to apply is the waves. It's a simple generator, so I'm going to go to Effect, Generate, and Radio Waves. Now under Radio Waves, I'm going to set the frequency under Wave Motion and Stroke. These are really the ones we're going to be messing with. Nothing else is necessary. Um, I'm going to set the frequency to, let's set it to probably something small like 0 0.5 and an expansion let's bring that down to 2 uh, let's maybe go up to 2.7 I'm going to drag out my timeline here so you can see what I'm doing there's that blue radio wave as I progress forward you see they expand outward I'm going to start at about 2 3 seconds alright so continuing on we're going to set our velocity to 28 and that pushes it to the right in a positive velocity along the x-axis and now we can pull that up we're pretty much done with that now we're just going to be messing with the stroke this is the actual wave itself rather than the motion so what we're going to do is we're going to set the color to white like such and we're going to set the fade out time to zero <coughs> And let's say the start width is going to be 10, and the end width will be, let's bring it down a bit, maybe like 1. And if I progress outward here, you'll see how that works. Always experiment, guys. I'm just giving you the tools. Just giving you the tools. Always experiment. All right. What we're going to do, needless, I should say here, um, not needless. By default, this frequency is going to be 0 0.5, but we're going to be tying that in with our audio levels in our music. Now, for now, 0 0.5 will work, but you'll see what I'm talking about when we add an expression or expressions later. Not a big deal. Relatively straightforward. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide these layers down here. And I'm going to unhide my sound hits layer. I'm going to select my sound hits layer, and I'm going to apply that effect, trap code, that trap code sound keys plugin I was talking about. Very useful plugin. And up here in the audio layer, I'm going to select my glossoly.wave. This is just my, uh, it was an MP3 file, but I converted it over for After Effects. And you'll see here that the audio levels towards the left side of the spectrum, the bass, actually go up really high, in fact, off the charts. So we're going to go under Spectrum Adjustment. And we're going to say the scale, instead of being a full 0 0.1 we're gonna say 0 0.7 and that scales it down and you can see as I scroll through here it never goes off the screen anymore we have stuff to work with and there you have it so I'm gonna start at two seconds here and 